Welcome everybody to Mindset Monday, your kickstart to the week to get you thinking bigger, thinking different and getting some results for the week for your business. Today we're talking about time for business owners, how we can start thinking differently about time because at the end of the day we've all got the same amount of hours in the week. What we do in those hours is what's really going to make a difference this week. Andy, what's your take on time? Yeah, well, we alluded to that, didn't we, in the Friday review, you know, we talked about thinking about leverage and how, one of the areas that we can get that is through our team. And I sort of put on the table as a teaser, if you remember, the other area. And, and for me, that's the way we think about time. And, you know, the, the thing that fascinates me the most is that it's the one finite resource we've got in our life. And it's the one that most of us, are most um, profligate with, if you want. So we, we're happy to throw it away. And you know, um, a lot of um, the activities we do, well, there's only one word for it. I, I use it, if any of you have seen me in seminar, doing stupid. I call it doing stupid. <laughs> um, and what do you think I mean by stupid? Doing stupid stuff for your time? Yeah, and the stuff that's well below our hourly rate. You know, I was having mm-hmm. a conversation with a business owner yesterday, and he was talking about the fact that, you know, he's there working God only knows how many hours a week in his business. And I went, so how many of those would be at your hourly rate? And he went, what do you, what do you mean? I said, well, presumably, and this was an assumption, uh, you're the highest paid person in your business. And he went, yeah. And I said, well, so what would your hourly rate be? And he sort of gave me a number and I went, well, what percentage of your week do you spend working at that hourly rate compared to eight, eight an hour doing stupid? Mm. Mm. And guess what the answer was? Quite a lot. Okay, well, <laughs> um, so hence called doing stupid. Because you see, the, 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 you mentioned it earlier, that it's kind of the law of the vacuum, right? Yeah. Because we get shoved into this idea that a work week looks like nine till five, Monday to Friday, or even longer now for some strange reason. We have to fill our day. There's only one word for that, stupid. Mm. Because mm. why should we do low value stuff when we could be doing high value stuff and something else and still growing our business? Absolutely. Guys, going to take a short break right now. If you, you resonate with the stuff Andy's talking about right now, bear in mind that Andy speaks to businesses from you know 300,000 to 30 million plus business owners. Um, the stuff he's talking about works throughout the board. So if you do resonate with this stuff, make sure you click like or leave a comment. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the, in the box below. So we're going to have a short break, guys. We'll catch you after the break. How far are you going to take your business? The content you're learning in this video is only the tip of the iceberg. If you're ready to take your business to the next level and start implementing the right strategies that are right for you, then now is the time to book your complimentary coaching session. In the session, we explore what strategies will get you to where you want to be in the most effective way possible. Book your coaching session today. Call 01527 757 910 or visit goodtograat.actioncoach.co.uk. Welcome back, guys. You're watching Mindset Monday. Okay, we're talking about time, we're talking about leverage, early rates, and are you spending your time in your business doing stupid stuff? Yeah, so I mean, let's pick that up again. The stupid stuff can only be described as working in the business, can't it? Which Mm. is um, essentially doing stuff to keep you exactly where you are, not to improve it. So working on the business is the stuff that takes us towards our goals. It's Michael Gerber. Absolutely. So yeah, um, and also if you think about this from a Covey perspective, the urgent versus important. So we talk about a time target and right at at the center of that time target is the important, not urgent stuff. Yeah. That's the working on your business and that's the stuff that's going to change our position towards where we want to be. The next ring out from that target is important and urgent. That's demand. So that's all the operational, all the firefighting that comes at you on a daily basis. Now the thing for me is how much of your week are you actually invested in the um, important not urgent working on your business and I I often ask people what percentage of the week week they're actually in that zone and the number comes back as quite small Mm, interesting from a percentage point of view so let's do some simple maths let's say just to take an example you want to exit your business five years from now yeah Um, So if we look to that in very simple maths terms, just to keep it real easy for me, five years, 200 working days in a year, because you hopefully take some holidays. Um, So that's a thousand days. 
let's say you only uh, are spending right now 5% of your time or 10%, let's say half a day a week, 10% of your time working on your business. And think about your goals for what your business needs to look like five years from now when you exit it or sell it. What's 10% of a thousand? A hundred, a hundred. Mm. So you've got a hundred days to take your business from where you are now to where you need it to be to give you the exit for the life that you want. Yeah. How would you rate your chances right now? Well, if you're just going through day-to-day -day firefighting, then it's not going anywhere. You're going to be in the same position as you are, if not worse. Sure, and a hundred, at that 100 days, 10% on important, not urgent, mm. doesn't strike me as being a particularly good investment of time to move us towards our end goal. So, you know, it's always worth going back and doing that analysis. And we call that the cooter meter, by the way, kick up the arse. <laughs> that's what Keita stands for kick up the arse and thanks to uh, Gary Keating for that I'm going to credit him in case he watches this because he, <laughs> he came up with this, this theory and uh, it's a brilliant one right because how, how, how profligate are you being with your time right now well, you've got to value that time I mean for, for me Andy what you just said there look five years time where do you see yourself and for a lot of business owners as well is it actually going to change yeah absolutely yeah. Five years goes pretty fast, doesn't it, guys? Especially yeah. if you do the same year five times. <laughs> How long have you been in business? 30 years or uh, one year 30 times? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> guys, look, like, if you've got any, uh, if you resonate with any sort of this stuff we've, we've been talking about, and you should be, uh, because this is the sort of things that's going to really take your business to that next level, then make sure you click like. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Have a great week.